Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these six uh, identical yellow squares uh, fully inscribed uh, in a blue rectangle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, the length uh, of this uh, rectangle is uh, 13 units, whereas the width uh, of this uh, rectangle is uh, 11 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of all these uh, yellow squares. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on this uh, blue rectangle. We know this uh, side uh, length is uh, 11 units. So therefore uh, this side length uh, is going to be 11 units uh, as well. And this uh, side length uh, is 13 units. Uh, so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, is going to be 13 units uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, one of these uh, yellow squares since all these uh, squares are identical. So therefore uh, all of these uh, squares have same dimensions. And now let's assume the side length uh, of this uh, yellow square is uh, lowercase a. Then this side length is going to be lowercase a lowercase a and lowercase a. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to s square, where s represents the side length of the square. So therefore, uh, each uh, yellow square area is going to be a square, since the side length uh, of this uh, yellow square is a lowercase a. And now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have drawn this uh, perpendicular line that passes uh, through this uh, point, whereas uh, this uh, horizontal line passes through this uh, point. And moreover, uh, this uh, line is uh, parallel to this uh, blue side line. And likewise, this uh, horizontal line is uh, parallel to this uh, blue side line. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, right uh, triangle. This uh, right triangle. This uh, right triangle uh, as uh, well. This uh, right triangle once again. And finally, this uh, big uh, right uh, triangle. Just keep in mind this uh, right triangle. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, this angle is going to be our angle beta. And now we know that uh, in this uh, square, this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is beta. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle alpha. And we know that this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is alpha. So therefore, this angle is going to be our angle uh, beta. And once again, this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is beta. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha. And we know this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is uh, bit alpha rather, then this angle has got to be our angle beta. And finally, this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is beta, so therefore this angle is going to be alpha. And we know that uh, this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is alpha, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta. And finally, let's focus uh, on this angle alpha. This angle uh, is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, this tiny angle is going to be our angle beta. And finally, we know that this angle uh, is 90 degrees. This angle is beta. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha. And now let's focus on this uh, right uh, triangle, this uh, length uh, of this uh, side is, uh, this is side is A, A and A. So this whole side is going to be three times A. And likewise, uh, this uh, side length is going to be A plus A is going to give us uh, two times A. And this uh, side length is going to be two A as well. This uh, side length, this whole 
is going to be a plus a plus a is going to give us three times a and finally this uh, side length uh, is going to be simply a so therefore for this uh, right triangle if this side length is uh, 3a then i'm going to label uh, this side uh, length uh, of this uh, triangle as uh, 3 times x uh, and this uh, side length uh, as uh, 3 times uh, y and for uh, this uh, right triangle if this side length is uh, 2a then uh, this side length uh, is uh, going to be 2 times uh, y and this side length uh, is going to be 2 times uh, x and likewise uh, for this uh, right triangle our side length is uh, 2 times a so therefore this side length is going to be 2 times y and this uh, side uh, length is going to be 2 times uh, x and for this uh, next uh, right triangle uh, this one we know this uh, whole uh, side length uh, is uh, 3 times a so therefore uh, this side uh, length uh, is going to be 3 times uh, x and likewise uh, this whole uh, side length uh, is going to be 3 times y and finally let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle so this side length uh, is lowercase a so therefore this uh, side uh, length uh, is going to be x and this side length is going to be y and here's our next step let's focus uh, on uh, this uh, side length uh, this one uh, is uh, 3y and this uh, length uh, is uh, 2x and this whole uh, length equals to 13 so therefore we can write uh, 2x segment uh, plus uh, 3y segment is going to be equal to 13 units and now let's make another observation this uh, length uh, is uh, 3 times uh, y and uh, this uh, length uh, is uh, x and we also know that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, is uh, 11 so therefore we can write uh, x uh, plus uh, 3 times y equals to 11 and just keep in mind that all of these uh, right triangles are uh, similar triangles and that's the reason why we came up with these uh, two equations let me label uh, this our equation uh, number one and this is our equation uh, number two and now we are going to subtract uh, equation two from equation one now let's go ahead and subtract so this positive sign is going to become minus minus uh, and minus and here we can see this uh, positive 3y and negative 3y they are gone so 2x minus x is going to give us uh, x uh, equals to 13 minus 11 is going to be 2 so therefore our x value turns out to be 2 and here's our next step now we are going to substitute this x equal to 2 value in this uh, equation 2 and here i have copied down this uh, equation 2 and i'm going to replace this uh, x value by 2 over here so therefore this is going to become 2 plus uh, 3y equals to 11 and now i'm going to subtract 2 from both sides this is gone so therefore uh, 3 times y turns out to be 9 let me divide both sides by 3 to isolate y this 3 and 3 is gone so therefore uh, our y value turns out to be 3 units so thus our x value turns out to be 2 and y value is uh, 3 and now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle its uh, y value is uh, 3 and its uh, x value is 2 and its uh, hypotenuse is uh, lowercase a and now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, tiny right triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is lowercase a and other two legs are uh, 3 and uh, 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 2 square plus uh, 3 square equal to a square in other words uh, a square value turns out to be 13 
So thus our a square value turns out to be 13. And now let's make an observation. We can see that each of the yellow square area is a square and a square equals to 13. So therefore we conclude that each of the yellow square area turns out to be 13 square units. And since we are dealing with uh, six uh, of these uh, squares, so therefore uh, six of these uh, yellow squares area is going to be six uh, times uh, 13. And if we multiply six times 13 is going to give us uh, 78 uh, square units. So thus the area of all these uh, six uh, yellow squares uh, turns out to be 78 uh, square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.